By the numbers, Colorado will become the 22nd state to ban the death penalty, joining Alaska, Washington, and states across the northern Midwest and New England. 1997 was the last year Colorado executed someone, Gary Davis, who was convicted of murder. Three men currently sit on death row, Sir Mario Owens, Robert Ray, and Nathan Dunlap. The repeal will not apply to these cases, only new ones moving forward. Governor Polis said he will consider clemency requests if they come in. And 11 years, that is how long it took for this effort to pass through the legislature. Morgan Carroll first tried back in 2009. Many of the biggest, most important moral fights of our time do take multiple attempts to get something through. Back then, she was a state senator. Today, she's chair of the Colorado Democratic Party. She says she ran a repeal bill twice and got close. Other lawmakers would try and fall short, too. But when you see a handoff of people who care enough to keep at it year after year, that uh, sometimes the big changes that we see um, eventually happen, but only if you're willing to stick it out over time. Now, among the Democratic lawmakers who wanted to keep the death penalty in place are two Parent, they are parents of murder victims. Two different lawmakers we're talking about here. Representative Tom Sullivan from Aurora ran for office after his son Alex was killed in the Aurora theater shooting. And Senator Rhonda Fields of Arapahoe County. Two of the men on death row right now are convicted of killing her son, Javon. Kim? Remember both of them all too well. Passionate debate. All right. Thank you, Jennifer.